all, photography is very important. Um, it can uh, make or break an album. You, you can have the best music in the world, but say the, the photo in the front doesn't attract the fans, especially in heavy metal. Um, it's either artwork, like a really incredible piece of art that will attract the attention first sometimes, but most times it's the photography. What's the photo like on the front where it's a very beautiful woman, maybe scantily clad, but done in a very classy way, or, you know, what do the band look like? Maybe they're cool looking, you know, it's a cool looking dudes, and, they're, and, and, and they, they get captured, their image get ca gets captured that way, and it attracts uh, an audience. Uh, so, so, so that's many times in the record store, that's the first attraction. If someone doesn't hear about a band or something, they say, wow, I gotta check these guys out. And that's kind of how things happened with us, too. I met Mark Weiss years ago, back in 1980, when I first came to New York. And you could tell right away the guy had extraordinary talent. Uh, immediately when he saw the shots, he knew where to, to place you in the pictures, and how to focus you, and, and just make you look bigger than life. And, and he, he saw my concept immediately. I didn't have to explain it to him, you know, like others I had to to say, you know, tell him what it's all about. He knew it right away, boom, you know, and, and the pictures were amazing, out of this world. And uh, he just went on to bigger and better things. I mean, he was a personal photographer to Ozzy Osbourne. Uh, he was an award winner. He, he went on to uh, get covers on the biggest magazines uh, and rock magazines and mainstream magazines uh, that are out there. So, and he still, to this day, is, is one of the top photographers in the world. Mark was always such a cool guy to me. He, <clears throat> he'd give me opportunities sort of to get together with the bigger artists and you know say, John, you can't be so shy. So I was kind of a shy guy at times, right? He says, you gotta get in there, you know, and <clears throat> like for example, he invited me to a, a show in, in New Jersey with Dio and I was really impressed by, by Dio, but, but I was kind of awkward, you know, and he said, come on, get in there and Dio will let you in, you know, and I knocked the door and the, and the, uh, and the bouncer uh, uh, said, you know, who are you? And I said, Thor, you know, and the guy said, ah, you can't come in. And Mark said, no, you gotta come in there and say Thor. So the next time I went to, uh, to see another show, the guy uh, knocking the door, hey, uh, I want to go backstage, you know, and, he, and, and the guy says, who are you? I said, Thor. He says, come on in. So Mark showed me that, how, to, how the presence of how important it is to, you know, to be forward. And, <clears throat> and he set up one time, one of my greatest shots that I, I'm very fond of is, is a boxing picture of me and Ozzy Osbourne. You know, we got the gloves on and, and we're ready to go at it. And I thought, isn't this cool, you know, like you know, Ozzy and Thor together, you know, and, and, and Black Sabbath being one of my favorite bands of all time. So uh, thanks, Mark Weiss, you know, very cool.